always forget to film for YouTube just because I'm so just absorbed into my TikToks and stuff like that. So I will try my hardest to remember to show a little bit more at the studio. I'm gonna be getting ready for ballet and this is what I'm gonna be wearing. I will try it on for you guys. I was literally just like talking to myself the whole time and I was trying to show you my outfit and it looks like I'm naked but I'm not. I have a skirt on, it's really cute. Um, I'm about to head over and hopefully I can film inside like the studio just like a little bit. That's like my goal. Okay, so I thought I would do a voiceover over like this um, footage that I recorded. It's it's. I just wanted this to be a studio vlog, but here, I always forget what these are called. I'm pretty sure this is on layer, and this was kind of more of the simple or uh, combinations that we were doing. And um, so I feel like I am kind of getting better. Um, but anyway, here, if I look at my, my specific form and stuff, I have to be, uh, first of all, aware of staying engaged. I feel like I'm always also making faces. It's so funny. But, um, sometimes, like, I don't know, like, even doing the, that part was kind of, what, what, anyway, um, I do have to remember to, like, roll out my foot. I need to practice that a little bit more. Like, I feel like I can kind of tell a lot more. Um, whenever I look back on this footage, but I also have to practice not um, shifting my hips so much um, Which I think I need more like flexibility to engage to kind of do that um, And then I think we're gonna go on releve here. This is typically how the combinations um, Just how it kind of follows through whenever I do it with my teacher That's how she teaches Then we kind of uh, stretch our shins <laughs> and our back I think um yeah and then we kind of go forward and then I think this is where we stretch so this is just kind of like some of the because a lot of you guys are curious about like what kind of goes on behind the scenes in the class what does it look like this is kind of how it looks like this is what we're doing um some days I can stand on one foot other days I have trouble like this day like even just staying on releve sometimes is hard and it all really just depends on the day really so um yeah some days balance will be easier and then some days it'll be harder but i guess i just kind of wanted to walk you through my progress and i was definitely shaking the whole time <laughs> for that releve it's so funny i literally talked for like i don't know a solid six minutes i have a lot of things to do today also, do you love do you love my hair? Because I do too. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the farmer's market. I have a whole list of things to do. Maybe I should actually write it down. I thought it was like three things and then you say it out loud and you're like, yeah, it's more like 20. Also, the fact that like my, my reels are blowing up, like that's super weird to me. I don't know. Okay, whatever, that's a whole other story. I do have to update you guys about ballet and I will when I come back. Um, but I do want to say, like, I got this new phone, right, like, a month or so ago, right? And I think I talked about it in a vlog. And right now, it's just, like, failing. Like, as far as, like, I had to go to work one day, so I set my alarm. Normally, it's dark outside, but this time it was light when I woke up. And I was like, that's so weird. I took my time, and I, like, only had a few minutes to get ready. And I did manage to get there only, like, five minutes late, but this is my new job. You know what I mean? Like, I can't. I thought that was just so freaking weird. So what ended up happening though was um, I noticed that my screen for my, I normally put like 20 alarms, my screen was still like in that black, uh, you know when your alarm goes off, it's like black screen with like an orange circle that says like snooze or, or cancel and it wasn't making a sound. So I'm like, I can't have this happen, you know? This is a new phone, like it just wasn't going off. Like there was literally no sound coming out. So, I'm gonna have to go see what's up with that, but I'm gonna go bare face like this to, um, not like this, but like this to the farmer's market. I'm gonna just try to go for like 20 minutes and then I'll come back and work out. So we're just talking on our bed right now and I have my little cup of coffee. I might be going out tonight, but I'm not sure. And I took a nap today because I had to go to work early. I said this in the other video that I felt like I wanted to do something for my birthday and I'm not sure what I will do, but I really wanna get myself some cowgirl boots. Like, so I think I've decided on white. I'm not sure. Um, and also I got in my Sailor Moon costume. I was gonna try it on for you guys, but I forgot because 
I just fell asleep. Sorry. No, I was on the phone with my sister. So first of all, I talked about a little bit how on my Instagram posting ballet kind of did so well. And I'm just surprised. I'm like so surprised. I will say, like, let me know if you guys, any of you guys are like kind of like micro influencers or whatever, because as far as like in my experience, like I feel like I haven't really gotten that much. Like I haven't been really reached out by a lot of brands, which I'm like, I know that you have to do some of the work yourself, but I don't know, like my fashion videos on TikTok don't do as well, but I do feel like I should try to incorporate more fashion onto there. Okay, so ballet. So this time I went to ballet and I did actually try to film a little. So hard for me to kind of catch up and I haven't really seen any of the footage from my old ballet videos. Um, my contact is dry. So I haven't really seen um, old footage from my old uh, ballet videos, but maybe you guys can kind of tell the difference if you have kept up with my progress. And I do see a lot of you guys' comments and I'm so, so happy that you guys love the vlogs. This one's just a little bit more chill. I was able to ch attempt to do preparation for pirouette on the floor but I wasn't really successful. <laughs> but the fact that I'm kind of getting some core strength is great. We have quite a bit of people in the class. I, always, I feel like I always talk about this, but it really is like so many adults have a history of something in their, uh, and this is just what happens with adults. Like I, I, I was thinking about this because someone left a comment on my one of my TikToks saying like, I really hate when after I explained why it's, different for adults and kids to go as often to ballet someone was like um like i really hate when adult dancers don't go to ballet seriously and i just deleted and blocked the comment because block that person because it's like okay well if you don't think that i take ballet seriously or i don't take it if i don't take ballet seriously um this is not the account for you obviously you're just like leaving hate so I, you know, I deleted the comment and I blocked them, but it made me think about how like, it's just, and I talked about this to my friend and she's like, you should have responded, but I'll try to shorten this cause then I'll talk forever. You guys know me already. And also I was just gonna quickly say, this is a side note before I get into that whole rant. I was really trying this past weekend because I had Friday off, I was trying so hard to make it to, um, so it's like, a town outside of um, where we're from, sorry, where I live, which is either Cibolo or Green or one of those. And they have like a dance hall. And you guys, I, even though I live in Texas, I am just so obsessed with, because I never really get to experience it. Like just like the Hannah Montana summer, you know, like the country girl aesthetic. Like I don't get to experience that. And like, I'm talking about like real stuff. Like I'm not talking about like someone that just like wears cowgirl boots and just like calls it a day. No, I'm talking about like really like someone that lives in a farm and that has like an accent. And like, I really want to befriend someone like that. Um, just because I just feel like I would love to like, even though I've never been a country girl, like not like a country girl, but I meant like, like I love the country kind of girl. Um, I'm like, I feel like as I get older, I feel like, maybe I do you know like maybe I should go hiking um yeah because I've always felt like I'm more of a city girl but now like things just change you know like your opinions just change which, which is great but hey whatever my point is back to I really like southern accents and I was trying to go to the the bar over there one of the bars one weekend it's like 30 minutes away so it's not a big deal it's like it's literally like going downtown where I the city that I live in but every, literally every single friend of mine canceled on me, like literally. And I was asking everyone like a week in advance and every so, and I also need to get boots and I just, I don't know, maybe I wanna do that for my birthday, I'm not sure. Back to what I was talking about, like, oh, dancers don't take it seriously, that's so annoying, blah, 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 block the comment. It's really just like, I noticed that everyone in the adult dance, like, and I hope that you guys can resonate with this. Like we all have things that we go through, especially as we get older. And that's the thing about like younger kids. Like it's so hard for them because I feel like a lot of my, a lot of the people that follow me and see my content and like some people that send hate comments, they're of all ages, but 
like the young kids like they just don't understand that like hey like my parents aren't paying for this or you know i don't it's not a part of my school like i literally have to go out of my way to take these classes which like me trying to go consistently to ballet is actually it be consistent with a uh you know a hobby is actually like a a, a cool thing you know what i mean because it's so hard to do when you have kids when you blah 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 and a lot of the people and i've mentioned this before but you know learning that some of these people have like scoli scoliosis or a brand new baby and they're still like setting time aside to like come or um you know they all have just like a history of things and like you watching this no matter what age typically it happens like later in life where you will have things come up and the fact that you could still show up for yourself and whatever it is that's incredible and sometimes i feel like we get in this like bubble where it feels like it's like the end of the world and maybe it is for a moment but at the same time it's just like know that whenever you go to these classes like everyone has things going on and we're all like setting the time aside to collectively experience this like i was watching this film and it, they call it um poetry of movement which is ballet um, and the film, by the way, is The Red Shoe. I just feel like it's like, it's amazing. And um, in addition to that, this is what I was gonna get to. So I was talking to my teacher about her favorite film, ballet films, if you have any recommendations, leave them down below, blah, blah, blah. And I was talking to my teacher and she was telling me of one called like The White Knight or something like that, that I needed to watch. And she told me like The Red Shoe that I was mentioning. She said that she, she watched that when she was younger. It's like from the 1940s. I just I've been getting into like older film right now um a lot with like uh Veronica Lake if you guys know who I'm talking about Veronica Lake and Rita Hayworth but anyway and Frank Sinatra apparently I didn't even know he was on there and I also like uh, like a lot of Audrey Hepburn's um films even though I've actually only seen one which is Breakfast at Tiffany's I started a few okay who cares you guys I don't even know what I'm talking about also what are you guys gonna do for the holiday like for the holidays you guys get excited for Halloween back to what I was saying uh, my teacher did mention that someone else in the class was diagnosed with breast cancer and not in the class that I go to it's the morning classes and normally I go to the nighttime classes and and it's an older lady you know and you know some of the ladies there also like they uh you know they like live with their family so like their house is crazy. and I'm just trying to paint a picture of like how complicated life gets as you get older um and like some people like they say like they they're literally the caregiver caretaker for their because they're like a lot older they're the caretaker for their um husbands and stuff and they're still showing up whenever they get a chance so that's just it's just life so she said that she was diagnosed with cancer i was just like oh my gosh you know like my ears perked up just because i always feel like if i hear someone say that i just want to be there for them you know if if they let me like i will i just won't sh just show up unannounced or anything like that but again it really just goes to show that we're all going through things and you just like never know um and just know that if you are going through something right now and i said this in the last video too but if you're going through something right now like you're not alone um even if it's so if if, if it is a difficult thing like you're really really not alone we're all as a collective going to experience like life isn't easy like this life isn't easy i feel like sometimes um and yeah like don't put yourself in a little bubble and think that you're the only person experiencing this and also still make time for things that make you happy and i think that's what we're gonna sign off today with and thank you guys so so much for watching i know this video was kind of like I say this in every video, it's kind of all over the place, but um, I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.